Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hello. Oh, are, hi, Vivian. Can you see me okay? Yeah, we can okay. see you. I've got a new light bulb over here, and it's a little bright right here, right in this region. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, how are we today? It's a little bigger here. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. The cats have been fighting more lately, it seems. Mm. Well, you know, last week we did spend a lot of time with the cats, and I'm wondering if this week maybe we can get a little more into the people stuff. Sure for fun, you know, it's, it's, it's tough times, right? I think we can just acknowledge that. Just name that, right? Sit with that a little bit. <sighs> you know, maybe we should just take a breath together. I like to do this one where you make sure you can feel all your fingers and then you just, We do it together. Yeah. As many times as you need to. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mary. Yeah. So I'll ask you again, what's, what's new? What's going on in your lives? Should we talk about it? I guess so. Well, I'm kind of upset, Mary, because <clears throat> I found something <clears throat> in Ray's office that upset me a little bit, maybe even conf confused me. I don't know, I don't get it. And Ray hasn't really wanted to talk about it. So I was, I was in his office looking for more staples because I ran out of staples. My my stapler ran out of staples. I didn't have any in my office. So I oh, like open up his top drawer in his office and I find this, this calendar and it's a 2020 calendar. It's a 2020 calendar of him and the cats. It's like photos of him and the cats. And I can show it to you. Uh, yes, I think we're going to have to, I, 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 just out, out of curiosity, you know what they say about curiosity, killed the cat. Right. Maybe not the time to be talking about that, but I am curious. So yeah, let's go ahead and take okay, that. Okay, well, so here is February with wow. Ray with the cats. This wow. is Ray with Vivian. And now, you know, my, my jealousy of Ray snuggling with Vivian, I think that's what we brought up the very first session. Mm -hmm. And so it's this 2020 calendar of Ray and different, every month is him with different pictures with the cats. Is he usually in his um, skivvies? Is he always like underclothed in that way? Is it sort of a sort of a firefighter's calendar, if you will, or? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Well, it's different. Each one's a little different, in a different month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got different hats on. He's got different colors that he's wearing. And I'm just curious, uh, did you distribute this? Is there, are there copies of it or is it just the one copy that you keep in your desk? 
Yeah, I just I just have one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's for you. Is that, yeah. is that fair to assume? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Ray, you know, I think I think it's time for you to start talking it out. You know, there's there's no wrong answers here, but Sue wants to hear a little bit about this calendar and I'm also curious. So yeah, I've got my very strong, uh, strong, hard stress putty today. Mm -hmm. So um, it's going to help me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here. Well, Sue's been pretty upset since she found the calendar, and I, I was going to give it to her for a present. Um, because I thought she would like it. Um, just kind of another side of, of me. Um, but um, I don't know, I really liked looking at it and I like the pictures of the cats. And um, so I didn't. Um, Ray, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I, and I, I'm not a detective, but you're saying that you've you had this 2020 calendar made so that's about a year ago if not more and you're saying that you were planning on giving it to sue and then just to clarify the, it then stayed in your uh personal possession instead is that correct yeah well yeah mm -hmm. okay I just, um, yeah, I didn't, I don't know. I, was, I mean, you can show her the other. I don't know. It's very awkward ever since we did it. I mean, ever since. Uh, did Sue, you have someone come and take pictures? Sue found it. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, they're kind of good pictures. So, and you asked him if if the if a photographer, a professional photographer, entered your home. I mean, I'm I masked. I presume is that is that what happened here? Well, this was before the pandemic. It was. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. I could have a professional photographer um, just come in and, you know, uh, just thought it was a good idea. Thought it'd be kind of fun, just a little mm -hmm. different, change it up a little bit. Um, and how are you feeling now that you've seen Sue's sort of reaction and what's what you know the way that she's treating that strong puppy you know well she's been pretty upset uh all week and um hasn't really wanted to talk about it um just um kind of mad and um i don't know i i don't know why i uh, didn't give it to her earlier but I thought she would be jealous and it's true. She's already been so jealous of all the snuggling I'm doing with the cats and this is kind of, I think I thought she would like it. And then when I saw the pictures, I thought, well, maybe this is gonna just make her more upset. And so I didn't give it to her and then then she found it anyway, and now she's upset, and she's been just going through stress putty like water. Hmm. So this is the like, this is like the really extreme stress putty. The she usually uses the softer ones, the, the pink ones and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed at what it can do. So do you want to talk about what it is that makes you so upset? 
I think I feel betrayed or like, well, just like he was hiding something from me. And maybe it's because he did, he didn't know how to talk about it. This is the most that I've heard about this. Mm. And yeah, it, it could have been kind of a fun thing but then he kept it to himself. So maybe I'm upset about that. Maybe I'm even, maybe there's double jealousy going on. Um, yeah, I, I think, um, did you, yeah, if you could show me a little more and then, you know, well, yeah. this is Mr. July. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised that you decided not to give it to Sue, to be honest. It's very high quality, um, very professional looking photos. Um, Mr. August? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did they cat like that? I got pretty, pretty cut up that day. Yeah. And Sue had to, she was wondering why I had claw marks all over my, all over my body. And I remember that I asked him why he had claw marks all over and some, some big lie I was told. We, we have to talk about lying, don't we? Lying is a big thing, isn't it? In our relationships. And when we couple with somebody we're forced to encounter the truths of our inside selves, right? And and sometimes we don't want to share those truths, right? Um, that's what coupling is, though, right? It is sharing those truths. So, I I'm just gonna go ahead and be the optimist here and say that I think you're you're gonna get through this because the thing is, is it's actually an opportunity. So. When one of these big lies gets revealed, we we're we're just a moment. I'm gonna just make sure I'm not okay. Um, when one of these big lies gets revealed, it, even though it feels like tragedy, you know, it's actually an opportunity, and it's an opportunity to say, look at this person straight in the face and say, I've been hurt. I thought I trusted you. You thought I, you know. You've probably said it before to each other. I thought you trusted me. You thought I trusted you. And then, you know, you do that and you take some deep breaths together. And then you say, you still want to do this with me? And if the answer is still yes, then you, you move forward because, you know, everybody lies and it's, 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 it's their reasons that they're lying. It's not you. It's, the, it's them. So if, so, you know, in the, in the typical, it's not you, it's me, or yeah, it's not you, it's me. That really is what's happening there is that it's not them, it's them. So, yeah. Um, I think it's something that you'll probably continue to work on uh, between the two of you. But we can keep talking about it now if you'd like to. What is there? Is there more you want to say, Sue? I want to make sure you really. Or is there is there anything else you want to add, Ray? Well, I don't. I'm curious what Sue would have thought if I had had given it to her as a present. Mm -hmm. why, I, why no. I thought I was going to do it, and then I got mm -hmm. scared because I thought she'd be jealous and. Mm -hmm. So then I didn't, but then I thought, wait, well, still maybe I wasn't sure, so I held on to it. And 
And jealousy is another one of those big bad seven horsemen, right? You know, there's the there's the lying and then there's the jealousy and the, you know, those big bad the seven horsemen of the of the end of the relationship, you know, it's it doesn't just because you have those in your relationship doesn't mean that it's that's not what I'm saying. I can't find my other earring. Those are nice earrings. It's a peacock feather, but I can't find the other one, so we're gonna just. Yeah. Anyway, I... um, uh, jealousy, right? That's another one. It's about it's about the person who's feeling the jealousy a lot of times. So you know, the lying Ray that might be your thing, and then Sue, you know, the jealousy that's kind of your thing. And it's just the weapon that your body is choosing to deal with its own inner pain, right? It's fear, fear of rejection, fear of, you know, not being loved. And, and that's understandable. We all have that fear, you know? And every body sort of chooses its weapons. And sometimes the body chooses lies. And sometimes the body chooses jealousy. So, um. I'll, I'll, I'll also let you know that if, if you want, I have some things that might might help us out with these answers here. Um, if I can just share screen here. Um, you know, I know everyone's kind of got their deck of 24, sort of their, you know, their PowerPoint, you know, slides, their 24 slides, you know, to kind of, Oh, I'm going to be a guest speaker. I've got to get my slides ready. So I, I, it's, don't worry. It's not a deck of 24, but I got it down to seven. So, um, if you'd like, I can maybe go ahead and share that with you. And if you find some, I, I, I think I used the term earlier, uh, weapons for your body. Your body chooses its weapons, jealousy or lies, or, but another word for that might be wolves. And I'm going to talk about wolves a little bit in my PowerPoint. So if I can just share screen here, let me see if I can get ready here for that. So, uh oh, can you, can you, I think I need to be, I thought I was the host, but maybe I can, if you can make, maybe I share host. Are we, are we co-hosts? Let me see if I can do that. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so we go uh, okay, okay now can you see that oh mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, hold on one second here hold on we're gonna just do the whole screen here okay and then we're gonna okay gotta go back to here okay can you see that now uh-huh yep okay and you can still hear me yes yep. okay so, um, you know, this is the Mary Wolf uh, PowerPoint deck of seven. And uh, yeah, we'll just, we're going to be talking about wolves today. So, you know, uh, my tagline is often, uh, how will you find it? If you, you know, or how will you face your fears? Or how will you know if your fears can be faced if you never face them? Really applies to a lot of situations. But let's go ahead and get into the Okay, so what is the wolf's den? Um, there's obviously the literal wolf's den here um, with this cutie. And um, but the wolf's den is basically your fears. So um, we're going to be facing our fears. Okay, this is a little bit more academic, but I'm going to go through it real fast here. So there's three kinds of wolves, um, but th there's actually more than that. But, you know, uh, alpha we're very familiar with, beta, but omega is the one that I want to talk about because, um, and and I, I, I put here more about omega, but not the vitamin. So um, omega wolves are actually sort of like the, the comedians of the, um, the uh, group of wolves. Um, the wolf pack? The wolf pack, thank you. So the... Uh, Omegas are often female and they're they're actually the lowest, you know, ranking, but they serve a very important purpose, which is um, 
they make light of situations, they bring people together who, uh, sorry, not people, wolves, <laughs> They, when there has been sort of a falling out, maybe between one alpha and a, and a beta or an alpha and another alpha, and there's been some kind of conflict in the pack, the omegas are responsible for initiating play again after the um, conflict. Um, and they're always submissive. They're the most submissive one, but it serves a very important key role in the pack. So. We're going to focus on our omega selves in our wolf pack. So, and and then we're going to talk about leaders because we think of alphas as the leaders, but um, leaders make themselves. Um, so you can choose. We've talked about putting on your leader hat before, and you lead yourself into the life that you want. Um, because it, the wolves, also known as your fears, you know, your fear of this, your fear of that. Wolves, the wolves will eat you. So don't let them. <laughs> and then I just have a little asterisk that is, this is a metaphor that wolves are actually more afraid of us than we are of them. And this belief that wolves are dangerous to us has actually led them to be endangered species at certain times. So we have to be careful about spreading that uh, piece of information about wolves. So, which is not, in, it's fallacy. So um, I can't really see this part because the, lights of the galaxy are so bright behind it so 